Hey guys, so today I will be discussing the new Seagulls EP under exit lights. Now, Seagulls are, you know, at their heart a festival band, so I decided I would wear traditional festival get up, normally bright bucket hat, matching shirt, and five pound fanny pack that you buy because yours is broken on the first night. So, yeah, so Seagulls are obviously known for their powerful indie sing-along. They blasted onto the scene with their debut single, Call Me Out, and uh, in Vows of Reason about 2017, and since then they've been, you know, spotted on festival lineups everywhere, and in my opinion, they're always a welcome addition, you know? They're a brilliant band and they're sure to draw a crowd. You know, they've got sing-alongs for days and you can't help not have a good time. Yeah, this EP is classic Seagulls. It is packed with uh, amazing indie rock sing-alongs, and you know, I've got to say, I had a good time listening to the EP. I, I pre-ordered it uh, quite a few months ago when they first put it on their store, and uh, came a day early. So, figured I'd make a review, and get out there as soon as I can. So yeah, so side A uh, opens up with the incredible lead single "Ready for More," which is just another, you know brilliant indie sing-along tells a story of going through a breakup and sort of shaking it off and just getting ready for more essentially as the title suggests uh, they keep this momentum going with the next song why won't you admit which is a, another song with a great catchy chorus that you know I, I caught myself humming on the train you know it's just it's a brilliant tune and they finish off this side with closer which is uh hasn't got the catchy chorus that the other two have but it has these powerful instrumentals that you will just get stuck in your head you know it's it's classic seagulls if, if you're not thinking about the tune the next day it's not a real seagulls tune um but yeah uh, side b opens up with what is personally my favorite track from the album which is a uh, violet it has this incredible chorus that you really just you know can't help shouting along to you know you can picture yourself at a crowd in a packed club it's boiling hot and you're sweaty you you know you're thirsty as fuck but violet comes on and you just start singing it's you know it's that kind of tune i remember the first time i heard this live i think it must have been reading festival 2018 i think it was uh, they announced you know this is a new song we've been working on and it was brilliant i think i knew from the second i heard it that would be one of my favorite seagull songs it's just <laughs> incredible you know um and they so after Violet, you get hit with a nice change of pace, a moment to breathe in Timeless. So this is a much slower, strummier love song that just gives you time to sort of reflect on what you've just heard and get yourself ready for the next tune, basically. And it's essentially a song about one's first love uh, and how it sort of is timeless. You know, as we all know, we all remember that first person that you actually clicked with, you actually connected with, uh, and makes it, it makes it timeless, you know? The actual relationship may not still be there, but the memories and, you know, the, the time shared, it's always going to be there. So after Timeless, you get the final track, the uh, the closing track, which is Soldier On, which is an incredibly optimistic send-off. It brings back those punchy, energetic guitar and drums that, you know, you come to expect from a Seagull song. And it basically just tells the story of carrying on with things, you know, soldiering on, as it says. And I think it's a brilliant send-off to a brilliant EP. All in all, this has been, you know, another great EP from Seagulls. Uh, it's just what I expected, really. You know, I, when I ordered this a few months ago, I, I knew I was in for a treat. It's a brilliant band, and as you know, as you'd expect, they produce a brilliant EP. So I look forward to seeing what they produce in the future. I look forward to, you know, seeing them at the, every summer festival ever because they seem to be on stage at most of them nowadays. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, what did you think of the EP? Have you heard it yet? If you haven't. Maybe give it a listen. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you, you know, if you like this, maybe hit that subscribe button, give it a like, you know, share it with your mates. Really appreciate it. This is a sort of a new thing I'm trying, just sort of, yeah, I, li I like the music, so I've got nothing better to do on a Thursday night. I might as well record some videos. And yeah, if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, just let me know. Cheers.